Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for Heyday and Heyday Pop videos. Now today I'm at my Back to Basics farm. It's a level 13 as you can see. We've got uh, 809 experience points and we need 1790 to level up. When we hit level 14 is when we acquire Tom. So I'm actually looking forward to doing that because I end up getting him for a free amount of time once he's actually activated. So if we are lucky today we can get closer with the experience points. But we've also got the ability to buy some more animals today, and that's going to be in the focus of this video. So first things first, let's go do the basic admin. We collect all the resources that we've got from our animals, that'll give us more XP as well, which goes towards us leveling up. We can feed those as well. We go collect from the actual cows as well, which is fine. Another five down there. And we've got some pigs down there as well, which is also very good. And I can feed my free pigs. Now if I go collect from my machines, those resources have been done, I go collect from the other ones as well, and there we go, beautiful indeed, and then a few more bits of feed. Right, now down there I've got a couple of bits of crops which need to be harvested, so we take those as well. That should get us closer and closer to the 1790 we need, uh, we're on the 1000 now, so only 790 to go. Right, we're going to plant some more of the wheat down on two of the plots. We'll take soya beans on one of the larger plots over there. And let's have a look at some of the weaker products. Well, we've got some indigo down there as well. And I'm going to get some carrots in there. And that looks good. Right, now board-wise, there are some orders that have been done down there. So I'm going to say thank you very much to Elizabeth, to Spirit Farm, to Paul, and Elizabeth again, and send some thank you letters out to them. That will then mean I can actually send those orders off and they get the rewards. Now, by getting some help from my friends, they actually do some of the orders I can't do, thus releasing the ones that come underneath for me to be able to do. If I were to trash an order, let's just say this one, I'd have to wait 30 odd minutes for the next one to come back. So actually by requesting help, you increase your chances of getting another order underneath that you can do. And that could be very beneficial indeed. Right, now there's this one down here with some cheese and wheat and bread and butter. Okay, so milk is a nice easy one, so we go request on that one as well and see what happens. The others will send on their way, and that will give me some new orders I can do, which will give me some more XP, and hopefully getting closer and closer to living up to Tom. Right, now while that's doing that, let's go and place some items down here and start making some goodies. Now I need a cheese in there. We take some more of the cream as well. There's some coins to be collected there, which is very nice indeed. I need those. We'll take that one as well. And we'll send the last one away. There we go. Beautiful. And some orders down there requested. Now, the bigger thing it seems I need is bread. So we're going to do the wheat on the bread. Now, there's also a nice order over there that requires a lot of bread. There's that one requires bread. And this one requires wheat. That one down there requires wheat as well. So there's a few pieces down there that can be done by myself if I'm lucky. Right, some orders down there need to be filled up. We take that one there with the sugar as well, which is very good. We've got some other sugar options down there again. We take four more of the brown sugars. That one is loaded up with the bread. We get some more bread on the go down there, which is very important indeed. And there we go. My truck is back already. Well, he's very fast indeed. I like that. We do another order down there, which is perfect. That means a lot of orders now I can't do, so I'm going to request help on some of these again. Some nice easy pancake ones if anybody wants to come and grab those. Now, at the moment I'm not making any pancakes. Um, or I am, but they will take a bit of time anyway. You know, we can do some more corn down there as well, which is very cool. And I like it. So those machines are up and ready and ready to go. Now, there's a bit of a carrot issue down there. I can do those carrots. I've got a few on the go there, but it will be very risky indeed. But first things first, let's buy the animals I wanted to get. Now, down here I've got my pigs, and I've got three pigs in there, which is very nice for the bacon. It takes quite a few hours for it to turn around. Uh, and what I'm hoping to do today is to actually add in some more animals to that section. Now I can get two more pigs down there and they're 500 coins each and I've now got 4,872 so I have enough. So we're going to purchase some pigs today and this is very good indeed. Now I've maxed out. You can see I've got six of six sheep, five of five cows and so on. Now if I go back to my animal pens, I can buy more chicken coops which is nice but at the moment I don't yet need it. Uh, but I do need to feed those. 
Now, by having the extra animals, it's actually very beneficial. Not only do you get resources from them when they actually turn around, which allows you to sell and make more money, but it also helps as well when it comes to XP and coins and helps you when it comes to leveling up as well. So keep that in mind. Now, they will be ready in quite a few hours, and I'm going to need to put some of the actual feed on the go. But in the meantime, I also need to get some of the cow feed. So we'll take one of those. We'll take a couple of pig feeds down there as well. So there's three of those, and three of those, that's six. And I only need the one of those. We'll take the soybeans down there, the last ones I've got. It's okay, I've got them growing as well. So that will give me the feed I need for both of those. Now I'm in no rush for the actual cows at the moment, so there's no need to hurry myself up there. I've got plenty of the chicken feed, so if I did produce any more feed, uh, I could probably sell that and make some money. But I'll do that one later. It's not just a big need at the moment. Right, now let's see if we can get closer to getting to level 14. If we can do that, then we can hit Tom. So I'm going to have to do some more of these orders, which means producing more products. Now there's that one down there for soya beans. I could do that, but I've got to wait uh, about 15 minutes for that one. So I'm going to request on the help on that one. Nice, easy order. And I'm going to do the carrots after all down there. And that leaves another order, only which is wheat. So there's wheat, wheat, and bread down there. Yeah, but one I will leave on there for the moment because that will be done easily later. All right, we're looking good so far. I like that one. Now, visitors requesting some items. I'm going to say no on that one, and I'm going to say no on that one. The order's good, but the XP amount is not so nice. Okay, all right. Now, machines are loaded up. We've got wheat growing. We are doing good at the moment. Now, there's some messages down there. Let's see how they've got. Okay. Uh, some people need some help in my team. So now that we're part of the neighborhood, let's go and see if we can help out. Now I can do the bacon. I can do all six of those. There we go. That was very cool indeed. That's more XP. I can donate two of the sugars as well. And there we go. Nicely done as well. Now what I could do, I suppose, is to request an item. Uh, but what should I request? If I request the brown bread, oh, sorry, wrong one. Maybe I can get some pieces down there. So let's request the bread. Now, requesting is a nice one here indeed. I can request different quantities of items, and depending on the product itself, uh, depends on how many you can actually get. Now, for my level, I don't really want to request too much down there, but I will take the bread. So, hopefully I can get some bread filled out later. My request has come up in the order. I've done what I can. Looks like one of the members have left a couple of days ago. No one's really chatted for a few hours. Uh, but like I said, this is a very quiet team that I've joined anyway, which is cool. Uh, not everybody's in the derby. Uh, not everybody is online to play at the moment. So, it's it's all good. I wonder how they are doing. I can't actually see because I'm opted out and I don't have the ability to look at how they're doing either until I get to level 18. So I need to level up to get to that so I can participate in the derby with this team. Actually, based on my level, that could be rather challenging, but we will see. All right, next one down there as well. We're still working towards the wheat, and that is good. Now, what I could do if I wanted to is to probably go and buy some wheat. I can get some cheap items down there. Like, they're selling 10 wheat there for 10 coin. If I move around and look at some there's like, what, 10 wheat there for one coin. So I could buy the wheat there for a very small amount of coin, which is very nice. Then at the same time, I could probably go and look around the farm and see if they have a toolbox. If I find the toolbox, it might be open. And then I can claim some rewards. Oh, I got a shovel. That's very cool indeed. Now I come back. Yeah, there's a help event ongoing. Oh, I like help events. There's also a diamond package. I don't need anything down there in the diamond package. But the help event I could do. Show has a baby farm. This is going to be fun to participate in. I just need to get to the third threshold and I can enjoy that one. And all I'm really doing here is looking for help tasks. Now that one down there I can't do to get to level 24. So I'm going to sell some of the resources I've got again because I don't need them. So we can sell those shovels I've just gained. Put those on sale. And we slide on down again. There's a nice little stick of dynamite. Put that on sale as well. And the other items I will keep. Yeah, that's if I need them, of course. Let's go have a look. All right, well, we've got some wheat now. So we can sell off that one. That will be good. And we're still good with the bread. And let's see, how many do I need to upgrade? Well, I still need three more of the actual nails. And I still need two and three of those pieces as well. So if I'm lucky, I might be able to pick up some of those as we progress within the game.
Right, another one down there. We can do that as well. And that one requires eggs and sugar. Now I'm going to trash that one because I've not been making the white sugar just yet. I've been focusing on the brown sugar. So there's no point keeping it because by the time I actually get through that hourly cycle that I've got down there, you know, I can get a new order refreshed anyway, which is in like 10 minutes or so. So uh, it seems pointless me trying to deal with that one just yet. Right, another order down there we can do as well, which is very cool indeed. And that needs butter, we trash that one. We keep the bread down there and the others are requesting. So we'll leave those as they are for the moment. Now what I might do is grow some more feed, but down there I don't really have any of the corn growing. So before I do that, I better grow some more corn. Don't want to lose out. Now, there is a help event. Now, with the help event, I've got a lot of friends that are connected to my bar because uh, I have my large farm, my second, third, and this one as well. And the Facebook is connected to all of them. Now, if I go to some of these and try to help out, I'm not going to be able to do many of the boats because they're like way too high for me. But if I'm lucky, I can find some help tasks down there for the bushes and for other pieces like that, which will allow me to do some help tasks and thus level up. Now, my better option is probably to zoom all the way down to the bottom, because if I go down to the bottom, uh, you'll probably find people that are more suitable for my level uh, with what I can make and help them as well. And maybe I just have some of those resources they do need. In addition, because uh, they don't always have as many friends, uh, maybe they might have some trees or bushes that can be done as well and I may be able to get them a little bit faster. Now with the higher level players they're more likely to request a lot of help and then maybe I can do that one a little bit more smoothly but uh, we will see. Now all I'm really doing here is looking for trees and bushes. I'm not going to worry too much about boats or trucks. I don't think I'm going to be able to help out with those. Uh, I'm not going to help with the town either. So fingers crossed we can find some helps. There we go. There's one, two, three. And we should get the first threshold from that one. No, no I think it's about five I've got to get, isn't it? But very nice indeed. So yay. Right, I'm at. Okay, he's already done. And next one is the 51, Isa. Let's see if she's got anything that needs to be done. Okay, no. Right, dryers as well. Can anything down there be done? No, 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 no. And the boat I can't help because I don't have the hats yet. Okay, next one, Cygnus. Boat I can't do, and trees or bushes, no, that's a shame, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh well, but uh, there's only 300 more XP's worth that I do need on this one. Aha, thank you very much, you are a superstar, look at that everybody. I've had some of my orders done, which is wonderful, and then as a result, if I'm lucky, I might get some underneath on that one as well, but we will see. Okay, I need some corn done now, which is good. I think we've got an excess amount of wheat. I don't need to worry. We need to get some more carrots in there later. So, let's go do that one again. Did it give me another order? Yes, it did. We're getting closer and closer to actually hitting level 14. Oh, it could get Tom today. But uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Right, let's go collect the XP on this one first and send the next one. There we go. Thank you very much for your help, by the way. That was very nice of you indeed, and I really appreciate it. Right, there's a nice one down there for some corn. If I grow lots of corn, which is not too long, yeah, that would help as well. Right, Carol, do you have any that I can take? Ooh, lots of dead bushes and trees, but not really showing any revive options down there, which is a shame. Then I can't really help out anything else because of the level... So, for lower level players doing the events, it's possible, but you've got to be hunting for many, many helps. Yeah, and it is doable. You can do it. So, I will probably do as many as I can for this one. I've already done the one farm, uh, and now I've got this one and my others to do for this help event. It's good fun, and I do enjoy it. Okay, right, I think that's enough for this video. Uh, in this case, you've seen me buy my new animals, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, I've got a few orders down there which I can get on with, and some I'm going to trash, and all is great. Ooh, 
Boops, thank you very much as well. I like that one. And another old one underneath, which trashed that one as well. Lovely. Okay, right, that's me saying goodbye for my basics farm. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we did some of the trucks. We did some of the orders. We have sold a few things as well. We've uh, set up some of the machines. We've gained a lot more XP. Maybe for the next video, I will hit level 14. And in the meantime, I've got my help event to do. So I will let you know how that one is going a little bit later. Either way, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and let me know if you've got any questions about managing a basic farm. It's not difficult, just a little bit every day. Bye now.